Hello and welcome back to Fundamental STEM and to the series Drawing Shapes in Scratch. Yesterday we did this program here where we drew a square. If you haven't done that one, go back and do that one first, then come back and do this one because what we're going to do now today is we're going to add on a rectangle over in the corner over here. So we're just going to add another piece of code. And this is just to basically show you the difference between a square and a rectangle in terms of code. So what we need to do is we can keep our square code as it is. It's going to draw our square. And then we want it to lift up the pen because we're going to actually move the pen into another location. So click and open our pen blocks. We want to lift up the pen, so pen up. Okay. And then we want to change the pen color. Change pen color by, and I'll stick in 30 there because 10 is not much of a change to the pen color. It, it won't really see much of a difference. You want to kind of an extreme change in color. So change the pen color to 30. And then when we, what we want to do, I want this to be, I want this to go straight across this line here. So I don't want to change the Y axis. I just want to change it on its X. So what we could do is its Y is currently 117. So if we can pull this across here like this, let's take that, that go to block here and we'll duplicate that go to block put it here and we can put this back together stick that all back together like this and let's drag that go to block all the way down to the bottom and attach it onto the bottom down here okay so let's make this a bit bigger actually that code is a bit small let's make that code a bit bigger so we can see it a bit more clearly um, now the only thing that I'm going to change is so that minus 155 is this position here so I want this to start sort of this position over here so I'm gonna in here I'm gonna stick in zero and I'm not going to change the y-axis, so it'll stay on the exact same line top here. Right, so that's all sorted in terms of where to go to. I'm going to make sure that it continues to point in the direction of point 90 degrees. Okay, so we're pointing in the right direction and we're starting in the right position. We're ready to put the pen back down again to draw our rectangle. So put the pen down. Let's grab it like this, pen down. And if you remember, or I'll just show you here again, <clears throat> Excuse me guys The square had one repeat block of four because the four equal sides But we have a bit of a situation with a rectangle where we can't do a repeated four even though it has four sides It's going to be two separate motions So what we're going to have to do is go long across the top and go short and then go long across the bottom and go short So we're actually going to have to do something similar to this, but it's going to have to be a repeat of two Okay and that'll become clear now in a second. So what we need to do is we need to go to our control blocks, pull out a repeat block. Oh, these don't pull out all the time, I know what I'm saying. They're pulling the wheel down instead of actually pulling the block out. So a repeat block, and this repeat block is just gonna be two for the, the two sides of the rectangle. Now the first thing that we're gonna put in here are the long side, the, the long side of the rectangle. So we need another repeat block, okay? Another repeat block and inside that repeat block I'm gonna put in a motion block okay of 10 and I'm gonna use that same effect actually did I just let me just check did I do that in the previous one I can't remember I did I used that weight block to make the pen draw a little bit more slowly so it moves 10 steps and it waits a little bit yeah okay so I'll do that same I'll do that same uh, thing down here as well so let's uh, go into our controls pull out our weight block and uh, let's make sure we change that to 0 0.1 we don't want that going on too long and we can put that into our, our repeat two times so that's the first motion so the first motion is going to move 100 steps and then it's going to turn 90 degrees that's what we have to do next so turn 90 degrees so that goes in there okay change that to 90 okay so Go along the longer side of the of the rectangle, okay? Turn 90 degrees, and now we have the shorter side of the rectangle, right? So this is what I'm gonna do here. It's, it's a repetitious thing, it's the same kind of thing. So what we can do is we can duplicate this, and we can add it to the bottom, okay? Let me just stop that. And I'm gonna show you here. So this is the long side, so it's 10 by 10, it's 100 and then turn 90 degrees, and then it says 10 by 10. So that's another 100, but I don't want it 10 by 10. I only want it five. I want it to be half the size. 
So 5 by 10 is 50, okay? So we're going to have a long side of 100, turn 90 degrees, then we're going to have a short side of 50, turn 90 degrees, and then it's going to do a long side again, because it's a repeat block of 2, and then the short side, okay? And then we've managed to put in our two sides in there. So let's see, it's all in the, all in the loop. Okay, so I'm going to zoom that out just so as you can see all the code there. So we have, this was our square from yesterday. We programmed all this yesterday. Um, we have the square moving here. Then before it changes over, pen up, change the color, go to a new position. Make sure it's pointing in 90 degrees. Uh, there was probably no need for that point of direction, but it's always safer to have it there just in case you're not in the right direction. Pen down and then a two-step process here. So let's go big screen. Let's go green flag. And here we go, there's our square. And our pen lifted, and then we have our different color rectangle. Great, okay. So that's our two shapes done. The next video we're gonna do, we're gonna actually show you how to use uh, the square. I'm gonna make the square, make a kind of a spirograph effect. So that's gonna be a bit more fun and show you how you can actually take these simple steps and turn them into kind of cool effects and you can add these into games and all that kind of thing as well so remember guys i need subscribers click like click subscribe comment down the comment section and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for the next video